So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about your website speed and how it could affect your conversion rates as well as how to make it faster. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Elle McCann from Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee, and we've been Shopify experts for over five years now. So you may not think about it as much, but your website speed can actually have a huge impact on your conversion rate. So if you think about it, there is a lot of people on mobile devices that are shopping. Actually, there was a statistic that in 2017, 47% of e-commerce sales were done on mobile devices, which is huge. And every year that number gets higher and higher. So if you think about it, of a lot of people shopping on mobile devices, you'll think of, you know, sometimes they may be on Wi-Fi, so they have faster internet, or other times they may be on their data and they may be throttled by whatever kind of data package that they have. So making your website work really fast, no matter what kind of internet connection they have is always going to really help your conversion rate. So a great way to test how quick your site is running now is with page speed tools by Google. So I'm going to put a link in the description below of where to check that out, but you can go in and actually enter the site URL that you have and it'll scan your site and give suggestions. Now I will say that not all of the suggestions you may be able to make. So for example, on Shopify sites, they have some suggestions sometimes of doing combining your CSS or JavaScript files, and that's helpful in terms of speeding up your site, but you're not exactly able to do that with Shopify. And that's because of third-party apps. So if you have a lot of Shopify apps on your store, each one of those has different styling and different scripts that make that work, and they're each housed separately. So the more apps you have on your store, the more different files you're going to have. And because they're each managed individually by the different app developers, you're not able to combine them. So some things you're not going to be able to do. However, other items like making sure that your images are web size and you're not uploading these humongous images that are automatically going to slow the page down is always a great tip. So I would love for you to go and check out your site. Again, I will put a link in the description below and then comment on this video and let us know the insights that you get and we can well help you work through what you can change and what you may not be able to change based on your theme or apps that you have. We would love to hear how you're going to be optimizing your site so that it can start running faster or maybe you already have a super fast site and we would love to hear that and celebrate it with you. So if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. We post videos all about Shopify and how to grow your online store. And talking about those videos, we've got some more over here. So make sure to check those out and hopefully you'll find some that are gonna be helpful for growing your online store. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.